Hello, digital marketers. If you're wondering how to set up Google Analytics, then worry not. This is the right video for you. Okay, because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up how you can set up a Google Analytics account and add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. Quick reminder, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that every time we share new content, you're able to receive a notification on your phone. For starters, what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a free web analytics service offered by, guess what? Google, you guessed it rightly. Um, we use oh, Google Analytics helps us to track website traffic, uh, social media traffic, referral traffic, and also monitor other traffic sources for the best ROI or return on investment. Now, without wasting too much time, let me dive right on my computer and show you how we create a Google Analytics account very, very fast. This takes a short time and surely by the end of this video, you will be able to create a Google Analytics account and link it to your website. So right here is as my desktop wallpaper or background and i'll be setting a google analytics account for this website to party okay so when you view this website in a new tab um website looks like this okay this website looks like this so this is the website that we shall be setting a google analytics account for it's called to party and now um the owner or my client that owns this website gave me an assignment to set up a google analytics account for it so let me dive to a new tab and show you how this is done really really quickly so what you're going to do we shall head to google okay analytics now put this in mind for you to have a Google Analytics account set up, you need to have a Gmail account. All right, hope we are together. So I'm assuming you've already created a Gmail account for your business that we are going to use to set up a Google Analytics account for our website. Um, so first and foremost, I'll click on this link. Of course, analytics.google.com is the website that we head to and we perform the magic very, very, very fast. Um, again, if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the like button, comment, and also subscribe so that we let how important this content is to YouTube, okay? I'll be grateful if you do this for me, and surely I'll be providing awesome content week in, week out, so basically that's how we shall be moving on this channel so it will bring you this website and uh, we are going to do this a little quick so first things first you have to just go ahead and go to start measuring so this is the official analytics website and you can see we have a welcome note from google welcome to google analytics Google Analytics gives you the free tools you need to analyze data for your business in one place. So you can make what? Smarter decisions. Well, so head to start measuring here. Okay. And I'm going to do this really, really fast. So here I'll put the name of my business. Okay. Account setup is step one. Okay. So my business is called to part UG. I'll just call you to part of Uganda, okay? Um, so that will be my account name. Then I scroll down, okay? 
then I'll check box this because the data sharing options give you more control over sharing your Google Analytics data. So I'll also check that because I need it as well. Then I'll go to next. Now we shall head to step two, whereby we have put we have to put the property name. So property name I'll also put the name of my you know I do business here. And the same creative analytics for property to measure web or app data. So I still put the same name. And you can choose the reporting zone, but I will leave it to default. That's UK. But you can choose your zone. Then after that, there is this. Uh, I'll click on show advanced options and I make sure I put them on. And you see why. Okay. Then right here is where I put the URL of my website. So I'll just say www dot at party dot com so i have to cross check and confirm i must cross check and confirm yeah so i just copy this um i copy this okay i won't copy the entire thing because https is there by default so and I just replace and see so perfect. So after that, I won't create a universal analytics property. So I'll put my domain there and I hit next. Okay. And now step three, this is where we select the industry that we are serving. So for this case, I'm serving the Arts and entertainment because my client's website is entertainment as you can see right there. It's entertainment, celebrity, gossip, sports, and vichy vichy in Uganda. Okay. So I'll select art and entertainment. Okay, then the business he told me is medium, eleven to hundred employees. Okay. Then how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? Of course. I want all these right so you can check some but for my case i'll check all okay apart from the others then after that you go click on create of course here you suppose select your country but i'm going to leave it to uk then i add and say accept uh then again, I accept here. Okay. So I will now give it some time. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So again, I have to scroll down. Then I say accept. Then after that step, I'll be done. Actually, I'm almost done setting up a Google Analytics account for my website are we together so i wait for a while and surely the email communications uh, so this is my id so i can copy this maybe we shall need it but not as such and after copying it i make sure i check box all these because i'd like google to mail me all this information then i just save Okay, so we are done almost. Now we are done creating a Google Analytics account. Now the next thing is to link this Google Analytics account to our website because apparently when you go to reports here, you can see this is Google Analytics 4 and that's why you have GF4. Now we have to link this analytics account to our website and i'm going to do this very fast uh, so i hit my dashboard okay then i'm i'm going to use a plugin for this case then i got add new plugin okay watch closely wordpress users now i'm not going to use the Google site kit i'm going to use a different plugin called exact metrics okay because I find it easier for me to keep track of whatever that is taking place, right? Even from the dashboard, even without going to 
the Google Analytics account itself. So right here, I do search for um, exact, okay, exact metrics. Um, then I just wait for it for a while and you can see this is it. So it says connects Google Analytics with your WordPress website. This place starts to help you understand your users. So this is the plugin that I'm going to install on this website. Okay. So I go ahead and say install. You can see it has one plus million active installations. So we are good to go. It's a good one. Last updated one month ago. So this is the plugin that I'm going to be using to link this Google Analytics account to my website. Um, so as this is installing, I can as well show you a quick view of the GA4. But again, I'm going to show you something that I'm not going to be using the GA4 for this case. I'm going to be using the all website data for my is a monitoring of information in my dashboard of the Google Analytics. So right here is where I'll be changing from. So when I click on GA4, then we have this link, okay? So you click on this arrow, okay? Then it will bring all website data, you understand? So I'll be clicking on open. So click on open like this, and it's gonna open all website data so i'll show you how this works out super good so it will take a few moments to get me there and i'm gonna show you the magic that i use to collect my users information very very fast and super amazing so you can see already uh, it shows zero active users why because I haven't yet linked this to my WordPress website, which I'm about to do using this plugin. So the plugin is done installing. Now I need to activate it. Okay. So click on activate. Click on activate plugin. Then after that, we are going to launch. Now, this is the most important part. So I've got launch wizard here like this. Okay, so hit launch wizard, and of course, I'm publishing for a blog website. But if it's a business site, choose business. If you an e commerce, then choose e commerce. But for this case, it's a publisher or blog. So save and continue. And we are here. So this is the active profile, and I'll say reconnect because already there was a uh, an account that was running previously but then i decided to redo this purposely for this training okay so you can see how much i love you uh -huh. so i'll be able now to choose an account and of course i'm going to choose this account that is associated with my google analytics account that i just created a few minutes ago so i'll go ahead and click this okay um <clears throat> I go ahead and choose this and now you can see it says select what you can what this can access what exact metrics can access so i just go ahead and select all these okay i'll select all of them but if you don't want you can deselect you can deselect some but i was for my case i'll select all then i'll continue because I trust these guys, I've been working with them for some time. And now, this is the most sensitive part. When it brings you, it says connect Google Analytics to your website. Exact metrics connects Google Analytics to WordPress and shows you stats that matter. So for this case, since I've chosen to go with all website data, I have to go with this. You understand? So I say all website data. But if I left it to gf4 then i would leave google analytics 4 but i'm going for all website data then i agree and say complete connection okay so it will finalize the authentication of the entire process and i'll show you that 
because right here I'm having my mobile phone. So I'll use my mobile phone to access this website and you must see that there is an active user on this website called toparty.com. However, we still have a few things to go. So leave everything to default here, then say save and continue. <clears throat> Then again, the same thing here, leave everything to default. Then scroll down and say save and continue here. Okay. And surely you are all set. Then I just come and say finish and set up and exit. Wizard. So it will bring me back to the dashboard. And right away tomorrow, I'll start seeing statistics from my users okay so i'm done setting up google analytics account and i'm also done connecting analytics to my website so how does this work now i'm just going to refresh this page okay i'm just going to refresh this page and i'm going to visit this website using my phone here then you're going to see a user there so let me use my phone to access party.com okay but before i access this website using my phone i want us first to confirm if there is any active user on the website so far okay if there is any active user on the website so far so um let me show you a live screen how this appears let me show you how this appears on a live screen so there we are so you can see right now there are no users on this website okay like we don't have any user people are sleeping it's already 2 a.m and it's a new website so that means it doesn't have all that too much content that people are going to be searching for because it hasn't yet started reflecting in search results okay now what i'm going to do <coughs> is i'm going to access this website using my phone and we must see that there is someone active on the site so here we go um here we go so i've just accessed the site and i must see a one right here and it must display that i'm on the home page of this website okay so that's how we set up a google analytics account for a website again if you need this channel you can hit the bell notification button uh, i think now you can see this is what i'm trying to talk about i've just visited the home page and now i'm going to visit a chameleon post jose chameleon so when i click jose chameleon it must change that i've gone to read about jose chameleon okay it must change Ah, uh -huh, now you can see it has changed and this is the page that I'm on right about now. So this is how you create. So I just clicked on this post using my phone. You understand? So, and that is the post that I'm on. So if, if, if this video has been so helpful, you can comment, you can like, you can share and surely you can subscribe thank you for watching here we teach people how to make money online um searching and optimization searching in marketing email marketing content marketing affiliate marketing etc 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 see you in my next video